Well, the investment firm that's purchased nearly $1 billion worth of Solano County farmland with hopes to build a new city wants residents' feedback once again. For the second time, California Forever is sending out this letter to residents this week along with an updated survey asking more detailed questions about the long-term projects that may be considered like new parks and solar farms. But concerns over lack of infrastructure, water and transportation remain top of mind. Joining me now is the mayor of Fairfield, Catherine Moy. Mayor, thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you very much. Let's start with this latest survey. What's your take on it? Well, um, I uh, have read through it. I haven't answered the questions myself, but I will let you know that many of my residents have and one of our most popular uh, Facebook groups that has about 36,000 people on it, we've seen a lot of um, folks posting there, uh, you know, how they feel about this. And out of all of them, I've only seen one who said, well, it doesn't hurt to listen, but the others have posted the actual form that they filled out. And it's been uh, very, very negative toward Flannery. Very. Um, I, if I could just for a minute, this this lady wrote, nobody wants a new city. The last three attempts have failed with good reason. Nobody wants you here. We like the open space. Go away. Nobody wants this. Go away. Leave the land and go away. Yeah, we certainly heard That's mixed reaction. Yeah, yeah, a lot of that. This survey covers a lot, as you pointed out, the first portion asking about different things the new community could create. A big one, major improvements with infrastructure like Highway 12, and we've talked a lot about this. Logistically, sure. how do you see that happening? Highway 12 uh, will um, take billions, not just one, um, to be widened. And we know that Jan, who's the CEO of Flannery, um, expects our current taxpayers to pay a big portion of that. Um, and that they would, when I say they, I mean California Forever or Flannery, I call them, um, would pay, quote, their fair share. It is um, unbelievable uh, that they would think that we should pay for infrastructure to build their city. If we could afford to, to widen Highway 12, it would have been done already, but neither the federal government nor the state government has come up with those funds. So um, I think, again, it's pie in the sky. Let's talk about water. For our viewers, it's important to note you serve as the director on the board of the Solano County Water Agency. I understand, as you just pointed out, you and your colleagues recently met with CEO Jan Schrammick. How did that go? Actually, we are scheduled to have, uh, I've met with Jan, and so has a director of the Solano County Water Agency. Um, we will be meeting on November 9th. It's a public meeting. Um, the media are welcome, as is the rest of the public, or the rest of the public. Um, and November 9th, we're going to be talking about um, whether we even want to talk to a Flannery or Yawn or California Forever. And what they want to talk about, of course, is water rights. And water rights in Solano County is very touchy. We're a farming community. And the bottom line is all of our water rights are already taken. So they'd have to bring in new water rights. And um, it, it's a, a real, real, real long shot. Do you think that meeting with Mr. Shramick will happen? I do. Um, we have it agendized, so it will be there. If if Mr. Schwermick does not show up, um, that would not that would poison the well further. I would say we have a lot of questions for him, and he. I have to tell you, he's been very good at showing up at meetings where he says he's going to be. Um, he, you know, he he's a charming person. And he does come and he, he, he answers questions. So for that, I'm thankful because people have a lot of questions. Now, in order to get the water needed, Jan Schramek will need to get the green light from neighboring cities, as you pointed out. Do you know of any sitting mayor that would be willing to do that? I do not. And I work closely with many mayors. I will tell you that 
Um, the city of Benicia, which obviously is already a city here, needs more water rights. And as uh, the representative for that city, the vice mayor said at the last water agency meeting, why would we give or sell any water to Flannery for another city when we don't have the water that we need? So no, I, I, I can tell you right now that there are zero mayors in, in Solano County who are willing to sell or give up some of their water rights. Interesting. Well, I want to talk about another project proposal, solar farms that provide clean energy. One idea, as you know, is to combine grazing land for sheep with solar energy farms. What do you think about yeah. this? Um, I don't think it's a bad idea um, at all. I would have to talk to my um, sheep ranching friends uh, more about it. Again, my concern goes back to how the glare from those uh, would affect our planes coming in and out of Travis Air Force Base. Now, you can um, create some that do not have as much glare, but it would have to go through a lot, a lot of process. Also, I'm wondering how much land it would take up. Um, if you think about it, laying plates out all in your backyard, it's not a good looking thing. Um, I'd prefer to just have an open space where the, the lambs can roam freely. Yeah, an interesting point. Uh, there are at least seven U.S. military bases that have gone solar. Are you still concerned, as you pointed out, the concerns about light? This could be problematic with Travis Air Force Base. What would actually need to happen to ensure it's protected? Sure. So we would have to, well, Flannery would have to go through the all the hoops that they have to jump through, including um, the land use uh um, the Airport Land Use Commission here in Solano County and everything, every building that we build has to be cleared by them um, because we have height restrictions, we have light restrictions. So um, that would be the group that you would have to pass muster with to get that going out there. And also, I think the Department of Defense as well. All right, Mayor, I appreciate your time. Thanks so much for being with us. Yes, thank you so much for following. Absolutely.